Oh, that heretic is right here. So, it's better to show than to talk. Boom. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm showing about. Let's do it again. Gyro touch menu for added immersion. <laughs> Hmm, what do I want to do? Punch him! Hey, I don't know, I mean, are those touch menus slow to respond? Let's be real quick about it. Whoop, boom! Nope, not at all. <laughs> so, that's the name, that's the name of the game. Gyro touch menu for added immersion. I was, I was talking about gyro touch menus in Ready or Not. I think that was really the first config where I was using it. And I have a new laptop, which has an RTX card, which ni neither here nor there, but it meant that I was able to finally play Metro Exodus Enhanced. I was fiddling with some, th some of this stuff back then, and I figured this is a good, good opportunity to show it off. So I have, boom, lighter, map, and I put, like I was saying in that Ready Player One, I put the first, I put primary gun in the middle. I put map in the middle here because that's kind of what I'm needing to pull up the most. You know, so I can just do a quick click and it comes up. Um, I think, yeah, this chapter, I don't have that stuff yet. Let's close that. Hey, what time is it? Yeah, close that. And that feels great. And that's, and that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm going to ramble on a little bit about that. Let's go in here and see what we're doing. So for the melee one, that is at, that's down click of right pad. And a click is just normal melee. So it's, it's like I kind of tied all of it together. So you have normal melee and then a touch menu. I personally have found that touch release mode shift end is the best activation style for these gyro menus. The only downside of that is that you're not going to be able to do a long press or any, any other sort of activator. It's just going to fire once. It's going to be like a release press. You know, so I tried to match up the icon as well as I could. Um, and then the same in this inventory. The inventory is up click on the right pad with a touch release mode shift. If you wanted to do something else, you could do like button click and then you have, you know, you could have it be another button, but that I feel like for how it feels in practice, this touch release feels the best because it can be a quick, a quick thing up on the screen. Let's get that back. Quick thing up on the screen. So that'll, yeah, I can switch to my pistol. Boom, switch to my gun. Boom, open my lighter. Boom, turn the lighter off. You know, it's quick. Now, the melee one, like I can do quick press. You never even see that menu come up. It's just a normal melee bash. If I hold it, that is there. It just takes, there's a little bit of a delay before that can pop up on screen, but as I showed, as I showed, you know, taking these guys out, there really isn't, it's not a noticeable delay that I feel like is impeding me being able to respond when I need to. And I could just press a quick and be a melee bash. So I guess, again, just to re-emphasize that one, because that one's a little different. That was as simple as just Melee bash. Long press, empty. And then release gets rid of this layer. And then the normal gyro menu. And then in the inventory one, it just has the release press to get rid of this layer. Yeah, you can see, you can see it through the controller overlay. You get the idea. But yeah, I thought I thought that was pretty cool. And I I did say I had wanted to do 
a video about this just to kind of go over some more stuff. And this game felt like the perfect opportunity to do that because I'm using it. I feel like I'm pretty an unconventional but really interesting really interesting way that's adding to the immersion of playing the game. I guess I should probably share this config. I think it's done. Well, yeah, let's get in here. I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. Okay. I know you can handle this just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Anna. <laughs> now you could make the argument let's uh get somewhere where I can talk <laughs> you could make the argument that I mean it's a left and right Q and E I think on a controller it was it's X and Y I mean, I could put it, you know, left and right on the right pad. I have light and uh, quick heal as left and right, but I could change them. But it's it was more to the point of wanting it to feel interactive and getting that gyro in there, which I think is pretty honking cool. I like it. So yeah, that, I think that's... That's probably it. I will, um... No guarantees, but I will try to publish this config. This is actually one that I've sort of been sitting on for like... Like a year, I, th I think. I was fiddling with this config before the Enhanced Edition was out. Then I just kind of came back to it and polished it up. Yeah. Gyro... Gyro menus for immersion. Woo! They're pretty cool. And that's all I gotta say about that. Goodbye. Chili Dilly. A delicious pickle treat that's spiced just right for every bite. Economical, too. There's no waste. You eat every bit of the juicy goodness of Chili Dilly. How about trying one right now? Chili Dilly. On sale at our concession stand. You'll love them.